Today we're going to teach you how to crush Nadal like tennis players. Those kind of players that they hit these heavy top spin balls. We're not talking about these like moon balls that go with no pace, no spin and anything, no. We're talking when, we're, when you're playing against good players that hit really heavy top spin balls that the ball bounces and kicks a lot. What should you do against those players? You can do two things. You can back up or you can take it on the rise. And that's exactly what we're going to be working on today. We have one of you that sent us an email about like a week or two weeks ago. That was Leonard. He told us, hey, I've been practicing with a coach, you know, but I cannot return this kind of heavy top swing balls when I try to take it on the race. So every time I play against those kind of players, I end up losing because I don't know what to do against them. Guys, is that your case? This is your video because we're going to explain you exactly what to do against those kind of players. First thing you got to know, it's all about timing, guys. Taking the ball when it's going on the rise, the ball moves very quick, especially when the ball comes with a lot of topspin. And if you don't take it on the right spot, the ball is going to start going everywhere. It can go like behind the fence, it can go to the bottom of the net, it can go everywhere. So very important, the, the timing and the footwork, because if you don't have the right footwork, you are not going to have the right timing either, right? So very important, the point of contact. What's the right point of contact? Somewhere between the hip level and the shoulder height. Sometimes even a little bit higher than that. And very important, in front of your body. As soon as you hit the ball in front of your body, you are using all the other one's power and spin to hit it against them. As soon as the ball is behind you, you need to generate all the power. Your shoulder has no power back here and you end up hitting the ball up, generally speaking. So also, very important thing to know. If the ball is coming with a lot of topspin, a lot of rotation, the ball is going to tend to go up from your racket, right? So what are you going to need to do? you're going to need to close the face of the racket a little bit more than usual. So if you keep your racket straight, what's going to happen? The ball is going to bounce, the ball is, is going to go up, right? What are you going to need to do to go against that? You're going to need to close the face of the racket a little bit more in order to make the ball go down. So let's get a little bit into the footwork. What's the right footwork? What's the footwork pattern? So you can either go with close stand or open stance. In my opinion, it might be a little bit easier for you to go in close stand because it's easier to turn the body. So how will you move? After you split a step and you start watching the ball coming to you, you could move sideways and you will do what it's called the double step. So in the last moment, right before you hit the ball, you will do what it's called the double step to take the ball and hit it moving forward. Very important to put also your momentum forward, okay? If you put the balance forward of the ball, you are going against the ball and you are going to be able to use their power. If the momentum is backwards, again, the racket is going to open, the ball is going to go up. Now, if you are a little bit more advanced player, you're going to be able to do it also in open stance. So you can go to a ball. On the last moment, you are going to stop in open stance here. Make sure you get set up, put most of the weight of your body on the right leg here. And from here, what you're going to do is you're going to jump forward into the ball. It's almost like a return of serve. It's very similar to a return of serve. So you are here, and from here, you could go forward with the ball. You could jump into that ball, okay? And one more tip that I could suggest you to try to do on those balls. Don't take the racket too far back because you're going to end up hitting the ball late. The ball bounces, the ball kicks a lot, moves fast, and you're going to end up hitting the ball here behind your body. So make sure the back swing is short. Very similar to the return of surf again. So as you can see, there are so many similarities from this heavy top swing balls and the return of surf. Short back swing, put the momentum forward, get on that position and that. But the difference is that this ball is, generally speaking, coming with way more topspin. So the timing needs to be in front in order to get the ball back and the face of the racket needs to be a little more closed. So now we're going to give you a few drills in order for you to practice that shot. So now what we're going to do is we're going to give you a few drills in order for you to be able to watch the way it looks and to practice it with a partner. So what I did is I sent Sergey to your side. He's going to start giving me heavy top spin balls, but he's going to start with high balls with just a little bit of a spin. So it's way I make sure that I do the right motion, I get the timing, and as soon as he sees that I'm starting to get that timing and I'm starting to be able to drive those balls, he's going to start getting more and more and more spin. So we're going to start, and I'm going to start in close stand first. So, so Good, here. So you can see the double step that I do at the end, and here, do the double step, and then I take the ball and drive it here. I'm going to do one more time in close stand. 
Va a ser un deeper, let's make it a little harder, Serge. One more time. I, I couldn't take it on the right, that one. <laughs> That's too deep. Very good. So, I'm gonna, sh I'm, I'm gonna show you the way it looks like when it's in open stance. So, you will see I'm gonna stop in open stance and then I'm gonna jump into that ball. So, I'm here, let's get up, I jump forward. Here, I jump forward. You should put the momentum forward like I'm doing right now. Start from back. Oof. Oh man, I'm struggling with these balls now. There you go. Now it's easier. One more, one more, Sergey. Very good. So you can see the way I'm driving the ball and I'm jumping forward. Very important. If you see that the ball is going deeper and you want to still take it on the race and be aggressive, you can do one step back and then on the last one move forward so the momentum goes forward and hit that ball. Make sure also drive that ball. If you close early, you will see that you're going to start shanking the ball. So drive that ball over there. So if you were able to master this one, we're going to give you another drill. It's going to be even harder this time. What Serge is going to do is he's going to bounce the ball on his side. So the ball is going to come high to me and right after the ball bounces, you will see that the ball is going to kick and move so fast. It looks like a stupid drill, but guys, try it out. It's really hard. If you want to practice Rafa Nadal kind of balls, this is a drill for you. So if you get to this drill, you are really good players, you are very advanced players. Do this drill in open stance. Close stand is much harder because the ball is bouncing so much and you will see it's going to be almost impossible to time it. So let's get there. Go higher. That's too easy. Oh man. Very good. So as you can see on some of the balls, let's see the ball is going deeper. What do I do? I move forward one step, I get set up and then I go forward. Because if the ball is going to bounce almost next to where I am, it's going to be so hard to put the momentum forward and take it up here. I don't need to take it down here and that's so hard to do. So we're going to give you one more drill. Live ball drill. We're going to rally on the forehand cross court. Sergei is going to be hitting really heavy top spin balls. And my goal is gonna be to take those balls on the race and be very aggressive driving those balls. I'm not gonna let him keep the rally going, push me back to the basin because that's exactly what we're trying to avoid. So I'm gonna move in, take that ball on the race and be aggressive with them. Yeah.
Thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to comment what do you think is gonna come on the next few weeks. You might have answered it right, you might be wrong. We're not gonna tell you yet guys, we gotta wait. Also, first comment below, free surf power course. Don't forget, sign up before it's too late. We're gonna change the software soon, so if you don't sign up now, it might be too late for you. So like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll see you on the next day. And, but I'm not able to hit uh, heavy top swim boats on the rise and take them early. How can I do that? Can you do a video about how the footwork pattern, how to do that? Oh, f I don't like that intro. I've been saying the same, ta the same thing too many times. I know because I was trying to think. I was trying to think. I was trying to think.